In this video, we're going to see how to fill out properly the family information form. Now, if you have any question regarding this form, you can enter them in the comment. As you can see here, we have the type of applications and this form is actually valid for many purposes. We're going to use visitor visa because we're in the visitor visa series, but you're going to use the same form whether you're doing a worker application, student or even permanent residency. Very important here, the government of Canada will use this form over and over again to check that you're actually saying the truth by comparing former applications if you do many. So make sure you read the instructions properly and you fill it out the right way. There are some counterintuitive questions and traps. We don't want to fall into that and I'll show you how to do it properly. All right, so let's get started. First, how to download this form. You're going to find the link in the description, click on it. And if by chance you come on a page like this or the page that says, please wait, no worries. Just come here to the top right corner. You click download and then you're going to have the PDF document downloaded to your desktop and you open it with Adobe and it brings us back to here. All right. So first section is for the applicant. This is you filling out the form for your family or yourself. So you enter your name. Please here enter your full name as it is written in your passport. That's really important. Do not miss anything. You're going to enter your marital status. Here we have all the different possible type of marital status. Common law means that you are living with your conjugal partner under the same roof for at least one year and you're able to prove it. Here we have your date of birth, your country of birth, your present address where you're living at the moment and your present occupation. This first section is for the applicant and the second is for the spouse or common law partner. So if you're not married or if you're single, you do not have to fill out this and I'm going to show you later on why it's important to pay attention. This section is about the mother and this one is about the father. If your mother or father are deceased, you're going to enter here deceased and not applicable under present occupation. And for each of the family member, you're going to state whether or not they're going to be accompanying you in Canada. Here, this is where it's tricky. Under note one, if no spouse or common law partner is listed in section A, read and sign below. That means that if you don't have a spouse or a common law partner, then you sign and you date. If that's the case, if you enter the spouse or common law partner, you need to leave this field blank. Now we move to section B. Section B concern your children. So here you're going to enter the name of the children, their marital status, the relationship you put child if they're your children or stepchild, depending on the relationship, the date of birth, the country of birth, same thing, the present address and the present occupation, not applicable if they're children. And here, whether or not they're going to be accompanying you to Canada. You do that for up to four children. If you have more than four children, then you're going to need to add an annex to this document, call it section B annex with the same format where you have to add all your children. All right. We're going to take an example where the applicant has no children. In this case, you're going to leave this thing blank. And because you left it blank here, you're going to have to sign. So you enter your name and you enter the date here. Now we're going to move to the last table. That's section C and it concerns brothers and sisters. Remember, include all brothers and sisters, all have brothers and sisters and stepbrothers and sisters. So you got to make sure you include everybody. If you come from a large family, don't worry, you can bring this document twice and fill it out properly. Again, make sure that for every sister that you have or every brother, you enter their name, their marital status, the relationship, the date of birth, the country of birth, the present address, the present occupation and whether or not they'll be joining you in Canada. Once you finish with every information here, then you're going to be able to sign and date and your information is complete. This document is not really smart in a way that you probably need to print it, fill it out manually and then scan it and upload it as a PDF document because it doesn't have the functionalities that the new PDFs had. It's the latest version that's from May 2018, but still there are some fields that you won't be able to fill out from the computer. For example, the signature, you have to do it by hand. Now, if you have any question regarding this form, you can enter them in the comment. Please like if you like the video, share it with your friend if you think it's going to be useful to them and subscribe to the channel to be notified for more.
that's it for this one in the next video we're going to see how to fill out the schedule one for the imm 5257 form that's for a visitor visa and till then and stay tuned stay healthy and i'll talk to you very soon cheers